Hey there, uh, happy Wednesday, uh, hump day, I guess, uh, for all of our uh, Mercy Village regulars, those of you who are part of our core team, those of you who are um, regular tenders, I uh, hope you're having a good day. A couple things. First, hope to see you at the picnic tonight. Uh, that's going to be at f- uh, 530, shelter number six. If you haven't RSVP'd, please do as soon as possible. And then two other things. One is is a leadership and volunteer interest form that uh, you'll see below. I'm going to, and then uh, another is a kids ministry questionnaire. So I'm going to take those on uh, back to back. I want to explain both of them to you. But we are uh, looking for to expand gospel community groups in the fall, as well as our worship team and our sound and media teams. So we're uh, looking for interest in those areas. <clears throat> and then we're also uh, looking to expand our kids ministry to possibly second or third grade uh, in this uh, towards the end of August. So um, we are uh, seeking information about the ages of our children. So that's uh, I want to explain both of those things to you. First form, we're calling it the leadership and volunteer interest form. Uh, if you're watching this in an email, you'll see the link below, <coughs> and uh, we want you to. If you have any interest in the three following things, one is the worship team. So if you can sing or play an instrument, uh, we're going to have uh, start having some uh, rehearsals and uh, 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 information sessions that you can come out to if you're interested in being a part of the the worship team. So if uh, if you can sing or play an instrument, then just check either of those boxes or or both of those boxes. Community groups. There's two things here two types of uh, folks we're looking for. Those who are interested in leading a community group. You might not be ready yet, but you're interested. You can see it in your future. or Maybe you're already just like, throw me at it. I want to do it. You can check that. And then also, you might not want to lead a group, but you're willing to host a group in your home. Check either one of those boxes that apply or both. If you're willing to both lead and host in your (coughs) home, let us know because we start launching these gospel community groups towards the uh, in September. Uh, we want to know uh, that we have places where we can meet and we have leaders for these groups. And so you're not uh, committing to anything by checking these boxes, but uh, you're letting us know that you'd love to have more information and follow up conversation. So worship team, community groups, and then lastly is media. And on there it's just soundboard. If you, if you even just want to learn. If you if you want to learn how to do the soundboard, we're going to actually have a a, uh, a class that we do, just kind of introducing, you know, not super long. It's not complex, but we'll actually help uh, people learn how to do it. Same with slides during the service. If you want to run slides during the service, or if you can design slides, which maybe that's a little bit of a higher bar, but it's really just like PowerPoint, so it's not a big deal um, if you can design slides. So just click that form below, please. If you have any interest in helping with sound and media, if you have any interest in helping with gospel community groups, if you have any interest helping with the worship team or any or all of those things, and just put your name in there and check the boxes that apply. Okay, so please do that. Again, I want to say this, and I should have said this at the beginning, we're hoping to have uh, August 29th, I think that's the last Sunday in August, be our launch Sunday, whatever that means, but Lord willing, we'll be in a new location. We are already excited about welcoming visitors to where we are, but we want to be really intentional on that last Sunday in August and then ongoing that we're going to be doing outreach in the community. We're going to be inviting people more intentionally and publicly and uh, with more kind of an outward face to the community. So that's why we call it a launch Sunday, not because we're doing anything new per se, but we hope to be in a location that allows us to uh, fill up with more people and just really go after it. And so that's why some of these things are important right now as we look at community groups and sound and media and music and things like that. But also our kids ministry, we want to expand that potentially to second grade or third grade. But to do that, we need information about your children. Again, just names and birth dates is what we're asking. So if you have children <clears throat> from infancy up to 16, years old, this will just help us kind of <clears throat> have a database of where we're at age-wise with our children. So um, 
Again, if you have any kids, <clears throat> please click that link below and fill out that form. It's simple. It's just your name and then the ch uh, child's name, birthday, child's name, birthday, depending on how many kids you have. You can just go through and fill that out. That'll help us tremendously. All right. If you stuck around to the end, no reward except a thank you. Hopefully we'll see you at the picnic tonight. God has been so good to us. How fun was Sunday? <laughs> that was so fun for those of you that were there. And if you missed it, that's fine too. You're, you were still a part of it because you've been a part of this core team uh, up till now, or you've been a part of, uh, as a regular attender, of making things like that happen. And so I know maybe if you weren't there, that's a bummer for you. But, but again, regardless of whether you were there or not, thank you for making it possible for us to enjoy that that Sunday together. We'll do it again in August that way too. But if I don't see you tonight, hopefully we'll see you at 1030 a.m. this coming Sunday again back at our regular space. Love you guys. Have a good week. Have a